What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Nord Trades and today I bring you another special video. The Sunday Stock Watch is where we talk about all the things we like, all the things we dislike, the earnings calendar, what's going on with FOMC, which we had a lot of action from last week, all the data coming out, and all that good stuff. Before we go ahead and get started with this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below what are you watching for this week. I want to know what you guys are watching. Maybe I'll add it to my watch list if I like it. And what other videos would you like to see on this channel? Also, if you didn't know, the Discord is free once a week where we host lessons, pre-market review, live trading, um, honestly, you name it, everything in the Discord. Uh, but not only are we doing the live uh, Discord, we are doing a stream every single day. Well, I'm doing a stream every single day on Twitch, YouTube, Kick, TikTok, X, Twitter, Every platform I stream on every single morning, if you did, you, if you guys didn't know. Um, that does have a five minute delay. The reason that there is a five minute delay is because it wouldn't be fair to the people in the Discord, but at least you get to come learn and understand why I'm getting into trades, me actually executing unlike these other gurus online, just showing you trading recaps rather than live trading. And not only that, it does save to my channel where you guys can go back and watch those videos. So you also have my live trading every single day. And then you also have in the Discord, then you have my five minute delay on the stream. And then after the stream is done, you can always go back and watch it in 4K. So you never miss a single thing. So I'm trying to bring as much as I can this year for you guys. So that's uh, that's one of the bonuses. We have a few other announcements coming this week, but let's get into this video. Earnings for this week. I don't even feel like I should say anything on here except Delta. So you have Delta reporting this week. Um, CarMax, if you're into the degenerate stuff, and then Friday is actually the most important uh, earnings going on. So you have J.P. Morgan, Wells Fargo, Black right, or BlackRock, Citibank, um, Progressive, whatever, State Street, whatever. But Citibank, BlackRock, Wells Fargo, and J.P. Morgan, the most important things going on this week. Then Delta, then everything else does not matter. Um, so let's start with uh, the watch list. So the first thing I'm watching is Reddit. Uh, it's not actually the first thing I'm watching. It's probably the last one on the list, but the first one I'm telling you guys. Reddit, um, you guys can see the low from IPO is about $44. Um, you can see that we're kind of, you know, just bouncing off of this. We bounced at like $44.60, $44.70 on Friday. Now, what am I looking at on this? I want to see if we break this. Do we get a panic sell? Our, like now we're below IPO price. Do we start panicking on the selling pressure? Um, do we hold below? I want to see what goes on. So when we hold below 44 or when we get to that level, I want to see if they take that as a buying opportunity because clearly they have already. Look at this bounce right here. Look at this bounce right here. This went from 44 up to 51. And then on Friday, this went from 44 up to 48. So it's had some nice bounces, but what happens when the market's weak and we do not hold above? So I will be watching Reddit. That is a side watch mostly for me but I'll keep an eye on it. Next thing I'm watching isn't for the beginners. If you're a beginner, you might wanna skip a little bit in this video. SMCI, SMCI has a wedge on the four hour, the top end and the bottom end. You guys can see the uptrend here, the downtrend from the top side. You guys can see that this is bounced twice on the bottom, but about four or five times on the top side. So what are we looking at now? I don't really want to touch this until we get a confirmation hold under 900. Most likely probably won't touch this till we break 850. After we break 850, that's where I know that we've got the confirmation that this is a sell off. Um, now for the upside, I don't want to touch this till 1050. So yes, the break on the top side is 1030 and it will be lower as the weaker the week goes on. So the uptrend on the bottom side will be higher as the week goes on. And then the, uh, the downtrend on the top side will be lower as the week goes on. But I'm still gonna wait for 1050 and 850 for those key levels to break. And then those is that's where the area that's the areas that I'm looking to take positions at. Next one that I'm looking at is Netflix. Netflix, uh this has a trend. It's not much I can do with this, but the problem is this uptrend right here, as the week goes on, this will be higher and higher, and it'll probably get above 640 if we don't break tomorrow morning. But will I try 640? Yes. What will be my stop loss? 638. It'll be the tightest stop loss, maybe even 638.50. 
Um, that's how I'm looking to try it in the morning. Now, if we get the run, it'll pay. It'll be more like a three to one, three to one uh, reward to risk. Um, the reason I say that is because my target on that would probably be 645 break. Um, but depending on the momentum, volume, what I'm seeing on uh, the tape will determine if I hold longer or get rid of it. So that's Netflix. I'm not looking at anything on the downside, so I'm not going to bother talking about it. Meta stock is beautiful. I played it probably three times last week. Absolutely killer. Um, but obviously, I'm looking at 530. Just looking at the momentum, taking advantage every single day. Quick 10, 20, 30% plays here. You know, you can't ask for more. If things aren't and nothing's going on, you have meta most likely, uh, which is great. Look at this on Friday. Push, drop, and then just to grind higher for the rest of the day, basically. Obviously, you had some fallbacks, but let's look at it on a bigger time frame. That's breaking out. That looks nice. One hour. I mean, one year. Four hour. It's a double top, baby. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm looking at 530. It's not really a key level or anything like that. These are just making new highs. These are whatever plays right here. But it is cool if you can read the tape, if you can get the right entry, if you're not just buying new highs and you know how to play stocks that are making new highs, that isn't necessarily play. That's not necessarily playing new highs. That's just knowing how to play highs on stock. That doesn't mean I'm going to take the trade at 530. I could take the trade on a dip and then attack or, or target the high of day. So I'm going to look at different ways to play meta this week, but it is on my watch list just because the momentum. I love the volume. I love the way the stock moves as of late. This is the one. Interns in my chat are watching Amazon. Broke out the one hour um, uptrend or trend, whatever this is. I hate this stock, guys. I don't know. I'm bringing it up for you guys. I'm not touching this at all this week. I don't care if it's yelling in my face. Um, but this isn't something I like. I don't like the movement on the stock. It, everybody has a preference. It's not my thing. Um, if I were to play it, and if I was thinking about it, I would wait till... <laughs> I'm going to let you guys decide that. That's just on the watch list. All right, interns are looking at it. I guess I added it to the watch list just for you guys. I, or I thought about adding it to the watch list just for you guys, but it's whatever. I mean, everybody has a preference. Some people like playing Tesla. Some people don't, and I get it. I like playing Tesla. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. Tune into the Instagram for, you know, updates, nor trades, trade like nor stock hours. If you get scammed, you were part of natural selection. Don't know what to tell you. I'll never hit you up to ask you for money. Make sure you tune into the streams. Make sure you tune into the Discord. I'll see you guys. Peace.